Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Alex from Lanspo. And I welcome you, yes you, to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'd like to share with you five things I wish I was doing earlier. On my channel, guys, I share my experience. That's why everything I say comes from the bottom of my heart. Therefore, I hope that you will pay attention, stay healthier, happier, richer, and hopefully stress-free. We start our journey towards our dreams and we have a lot of ambitions. We dream of uh, great experiences, tasty food, journeys to unknown places, and driving, of course, new amazing cars. But we forget that we are still the same person, the changes don't happen overnight. One of the main reasons why we don't do anything is pretty obvious, but very important, it's procrastination. From my own experience, I can tell how many times I was postponing my editing till the very last day and then I was flying through the process like an eagle diving to catch its prey. And yes, of course, you can edit your video in one day, but the main question is, would it be great? Did you show your best potential? Is it your vision at all? That's why I decided to make a little bit of something every day. For example, on the first day I find music and make raw cut. On the second day I make final edit, sound design and on the third day I do color grading. Cheers, guys. Ah, too hot. Oh my god. But sometimes it makes longer to make one thing or another. And when you are pressured by some deadlines and you already been sitting on this work for 10 hours straight, you would do anything to get rid of the job and just to get the job done. Say hello to my cat. Her name is Becky. Becky! That's how we are talking. And I really need to tell you that a little bit of something every day really helped me to push my work further, to make it better and to enjoy the entire process from point A to point Z. I really feel like doing something and I stopped blaming myself for resting a little bit more. Hello there, we would like to film a video. Can we do that tomorrow? Yes, sure, it's gonna cost you 200 US. Good price, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. This will never go into work. The thing about human mind is that even if you discussed with your customer every single little detail, it doesn't mean that the picture you have in your mind is the same picture that your customer had in his. Even if your customer says that they like your work and it's totally up to you, please send them reference videos so they can see the final approximate visual you have in your mind. Ask your customer as many details as you can. For example, to what platform this video is going to. In vertical or horizontal format, what resolution they require, how long this video is going to be. You can even ask them if they want something more energetic or lofi, because your style of shooting really depends on the music you see in the final visual. Try to think about music more in advance, because the way you move with your camera is very important. Of course, you can make work if you like make slow motion movements and then edit it on hard rock, but it's going to be really better if you think about that in advance and then you edit or you shoot in that style. From my own experience, I can tell you that a lot of websites do not support 4K resolution, therefore a lot of my customers ask me to downscale the videos to full HD. Therefore, at the moment, I record at 4K 50 frames per second almost every single video and then I downscale the final render to Full HD. In the end of the day, ask as many questions as you need to to understand your customer's wishes as much as you can. It is very important to have a good camera, but let me tell you what is more important than a good camera. Lights. 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 The skill of setting the scene to have quality lights in your videos can either make or break your video and it can even push an iPhone video to another level. Therefore, I highly recommend the learning lighting techniques. In the description down below, I'm gonna leave a link to a channel which inspires me a lot. It's YC Imaging, he records an amazing video clips. You can check him down below, you can learn a lot from him. Let's move to the next one. I can see so many people having health issues. They have pain in their back, knees or all over their body. 
Even when I watch YouTube, a lot of creators say that they have health issues and they give some recommendations to us beginners to avoid those issues. Please take a good care of your body. Go to gym, exercise at home, prepare your body for the heavy lift. As a cameraman, you, will, you are going to need it. But of course, safety first, so consult it with a professional. Stretch two or three times a week. Believe me, when you are on a set and you won't be able to lift your camera and work properly, you are going to start losing money and you are going to regret it. So make the first step towards your future. Don't be lazy. You need to learn something new every day. When they sleep, you learn. When they party, you learn. When they procrastinate, you learn. When you eat, you learn. YouTube tutorials should become your new Netflix. And as you can see, Becky doesn't want to be filmed anymore. You can find so many amazing channels nowadays. Even if a channel is not about your niche, you can still find there a video or two from which you can learn. For example, recently I was interested in fusion compositions in DaVinci Resolve, and I come across one YouTube channel, a gaming channel, but there was some suggestion of the depth of field in 3D space, how to do that in one note, instead of putting blur notes to every single clip, you know? When videos are going through 3D space like this and camera goes back, then your videos are not in focus all the time. They have to be blurred at some moment. So I found a way to do it easier than I was doing it before. And I found it on a very unexpected channel. And if you really find something useful, make sure to like and comment down below. You don't have to subscribe to your YouTube channel, but even a like and a comment really helps the channel to grow. If you ever think that there is nothing else to learn, you are going to lose this game sooner or later there is always a room for improvements. To help you, I'm going to prepare a video with the creators I highly recommend following. The ones who really helped me to develop my skills, to start growing as a filmmaker, as a person and as a business owner. As always, I really hope that this video and my own experience helped at least some of you guys. I'm really happy having so many of you here. I'll do my best and share what I think is really important. I'd really like you sharing your obstacles or maybe giving me some advices in the comments down below what helped you to grow as a filmmaker, as a person or even as a YouTuber. If you appreciate this video, please leave me a like, comment down below because it really helps my channel to grow and consider subscribing to my channel for more upcoming content. A pleasure serving you guys and until next round, nas